basically we are the first point of contact for whatever a researcher might need. They might need uh, a boat, a motor, they might need a guide or interpreter, they might need translation assistance, whatever it is that they need in doing their work. But we also do some of our own research and primarily that has to do uh, with water. We think water and climate change are the two most important issues that Nunavut needs to address. So some of our own work focuses on those topics. For years and years now, we have documented impacts of climate change. Researchers have documented those, in, those changes. Elders and community members have documented those changes. And we can see every day the example of climate change. I'll tell you some of my personal observations of climate change. Uh, many years ago when I first came here, there were people who still lived out on the land around the bay. And every year on Christmas Eve, all of the people at those camps would come into town. And we would stand on the hill and watch the skidoos traveling over the ice to Iqaluit for Christmas Eve services and for families getting together on Christmas Day. You can't do that anymore. Yesterday I went for a walk. I heard a bird. It sounded different to me. And what did I observe? A robin. Really, a robin in the Arctic? That's an example of climate change. I hope he takes away um, the fact that um, um, research is happening, but it doesn't happen without the culture and the people that live here. And uh, so we're trying to show him two things. We're trying to show him a world of academic research, a world of young Inuit being involved in research, uh, but also that all of our people uh, live and work within the environment and the culture that's here.